Hey guys, in this video, we're going to implement this main menu in Unity with some simple steps. As you can see, there are two scenes which are main menu and game scene. In main menu, there are three buttons. If you press play button, it will take you to the game scene and in the game scene, there's a cute button. If you press that, a dialog box will pop up and will ask you whether you want to quit or not. If you press no, it will disappear and if you press yes, then it will navigate you to the main menu. In options, there are volume slider and vibration toggle. Press back to get into the main menu again and press quit button to quit the application. Cool right? Then let's get into it. So I have an empty 2D project here in Unity. I have provided all the project files in the description below. You can download it, play with it, use in your game, do whatever you want. Ok, first let's select 1920 by 1080 resolution for the game. Every UI element should be under canvas, so let's create a canvas. Make UI scale mode from constant pixel size to scale with screen size. And make reference resolution to 1920 by 1080. Inside it, make a panel. I have already imported every art I am gonna use in this project. Make the source image as our background image and increase the alpha value to 1. Inside it create an image and drag and drop our menu panel image. Click on set native size which will resize it to the original size. I am renaming it to menu bg. Inside this we need two groups which are main menu group and options group. We just enable and disable these groups accordingly. If you want a UI that doesn't need animations, then this is the best and easy method. Now let's add buttons to the main menu. For that create an image and duplicate it to two times. Name them into play button, options button and cute button. Place them in the right positions and anchor them correctly. If you don't know how to anchor UI elements correctly, then I have done a separate video explaining that. I will leave a link to that in the description below and in the i card. Ok, now assign the buttons art to these images. Set native size to every images. And lastly, add button component to all the images. I'm changing the selected and highlighted colors a little bit for the better view. Cool, start menu done. Now let's do options menu. In the we need a slider, a toggle and a back button. First let's do volume slider. Before that just disable the start menu. Then right click on the hierarchy and UI and click on slider. Adjust the size and change the handle image to the one we have in our art folder. Adjust the color of the slider in the way that the background objects alpha should be low or should have a dark color and the color of the fill should be light. Let's add text mesh pro text inside it and type volume. I'm changing its font also. Ok, now we have a working slider. Next is toggle. For that make a toggle from UI. Adjust the position, size and change the font of the text object. I'm typing vibration here. Change the color of the toggle background and also change the tick button image. And lastly the back button, simply create an image and anchor it to the left. Change its source image and that's done. Next we need to make game scene. I'm renaming the existing scene to main menu and creating a new scene called game. Let's open that and make it a little pretty. We need to add a cute button at the bottom of the screen. For that create an image and anchor it to the bottom. Change its source image and set size and also add a button component to it. Next is, are you sure on a cute panel? I have already created the background image for the panel. So let's create the panel and set the UI scale mode to scale with screen size and put the correct reference resolution. Let's reduce the size of the panel a little bit and assign the art to the panel. Anchor it to the center and resize it correctly. Next, let's add the yes and no button. For that make two images and place it correctly on these positions. Change its source image to provided art, anchor them well and add button components. Ok, now we have completed creating the UI. 
Now we need to make every button do something. For that make a C-sharp script called level manager and open it in Visual Studio. To make functions for switch between scenes, you need to use this namespace called unity.scenemanagement. Import that and delete start and update methods. Make a public void method called play and type scmanager.loadScenegame. Make another method called cut and type application.cut. This won't work inside engine, so to detect the calling of this function, let's put a debug.log. We need one more function for calling the main menu scene from the game scene. Make main menu function and load main menu. Save that, get back to Unity and make a game object called cManager and attach the script to it. Make it to a prefab and now it's time to make our buttons do something. Select the play button and in the inspector, add the scene manager game object in the on click list. Select level manager dot play. We need to disable the start menu panel and enable the options panel when we click options button. For that add start menu in the list and select game object dot set active. Untick the checkbox and add options menu to make it active. Don't forget to tick the checkbox last. And lastly, assign the quit function to the quit button. Don't forget to add all scenes to the build. For that, go to file, build settings and add every scene. Now let's test everything. Ok, everything works fine. Now disable the start menu and enable the options menu. First back button, select back button and add start menu. Select game object dot set active and tick the checkbox. Add options menu then untick the checkbox. Let's check that if it's working or not. Ok it's working fine. Now let's set up the game scene. Open the game scene and disable the yes or no panel. Select the kit button and add the yes or no panel. Select game object dot set active and tick the checkbox to make it active when we press the button. Enable the yes or no panel and in the yes button assign the play function and in no button deactivate the panel. Let's test that. There you go, there's your game menu with some simple steps. And that's it, that's the end of this video. Thanks to Justin Kaur for his support on Patreon. I have provided the project files in the description below. As always, like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Oh.